Hello and welcome to my video about the circle library and the Raspberry Pi. This circle project provides a C++ bare metal environment for the Raspberry Pi single board computer. In other words, you can use the Raspberry Pi as a powerful Arduino. Sadly, there are some limitations, such as the fact that you cannot use the MIPI CSI camera. Full list of all limitations can be found in the documentation of the Circle project. The library has many real life uses, one of them is the BMC64, which is a well known project that emulates the Commodore 64 8 bit computer on the Raspberry Pi. My environment setup was not ideal, however I managed to get Circle to build in the end. The tooling necessary for building ARM programs is only available for either Windows or Linux. Since I did not have a Linux machine available at the time and my main laptop is M1 MacBook Air, I had no choice but to use Windows. I followed their setup guide that utilizes Git Bash and got everything to compile, even though an error kept popping up in Windows saying that the DLLs are not targeting the x86 architecture. I would definitely recommend setting up a Linux VM and compiling everything on Linux since I think the whole experience will be a lot smoother. I wanted to test out the HDMI display functionality since my goal is to create a program that would emulate a graphics chip like TMS9918 or its other variants and maybe some other functionality for the RC2014 platform. I decided to pursue this project since I was disappointed by the lack of graphics output and expensive solutions consisting of old stock chips and scan converters that introduced additional input lag. Having that in mind, I started with one of the graphics examples and slowly changed it to display some interesting patterns while testing out the capabilities of the library. In the end, I created an environment that behaved similarly to a pixel shader and finally I compiled everything using Make. With everything compiled, I now had to prepare the SD card. The SD card should be formatted to FAT32 and all necessary files should be copied to the first partition on the card. My card had a small hidden partition that prevented my code from booting and it took me a long time to find out what was the issue. After all the SD card troubleshooting and despite all the errors in Windows, I finally managed to get everything booting and it actually worked. Although few scrolling patterns are a cool proof of concept, I want to combine the code I have with the VR MOTMS9918, which is a TMS9918 emulator written in C. This should allow me to create a functional graphics card with HDMI output for my RC2014 based computer. Thanks for watching this video and leave a comment if you want to see more about the Circle Library.